how to set up shipping on Shopify with Zendrop. Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the channel. Today, we are jumping into Shopify, and I'm going to show you how to set up your shipping with a drop shipping app called Zendrop. A Zendrop is absolutely fantastic. It's a user-friendly platform, and it has tons of products that you can look through. So first of all, you're going to need a Shopify store. And if you do have a Shopify store, you, this is what your homepage will look like. On the left hand side, you will have a bunch of things that you can manage here, right in your toolbar, your orders, your products, your customers, contents, analytics, marketing, discounts, and so forth. Then once you have set up your store and you are now ready to import some products from Zendrop, it is quick and easy. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to jump into the Shopify app and we're going to go to the left hand side over here and we're going to say add apps. And once we've done that, you will find this page over here. Now Zendrop may not actually pop up over here. It says start with the apps other merchants add first and then there are more apps your business might need. We don't want any of these apps. What we want to do is we are going to the bottom over here and it says find more apps in the Shopify app store. And this is the Shopify app store. Now what you can do right over here in the top, you can just type in there Zen drop. That's right at the top. And this is what the app will actually look like. So the Zendrop drop shipping and POD. So start drop shipping in 30 seconds. And we are going to just tap on that. And then we're going to say add app right over there on the left hand side. Now it will take a few seconds for you to actually have this installed onto your Shopify store. And when we're done, we can continue with the next step. And this is now the page that you will see. And it is basically just telling you that these two apps are going to be integrated. And you can just tap on the install app on the right hand side of the screen. And now you can see on your home page of your Shopify store, if you tap on apps on the bottom left hand side, it'll actually open up a window and it'll show you all of the apps that you have installed. Now we're going to jump into the zen drop page right over here and what it's basically showing you is a bunch of their products that they have so there's a bunch of different products in different categories and they have a wide variety of different things and depending on what it is that you actually sell in your store or depending on what it is that you want to sell in your store you can now choose through the thousands of products they have and now you will find that your Zendrop homepage actually looks like this. On the left hand side, you will actually see a My Store. And that, in actual fact, is your store name of your Shopify store. Right, so on the left hand side, we can now go to our dashboard. And you can now see an overview of what you are actually doing within Zendrop and your Shopify store. So there is an overview on the right hand side and there is a fulfilled orders. And as you travel down the page, you will see some other details. On the left hand side, you will also see a find products tab and you can tap on that. Now, this is where we get into the nitty gritty of what we want to sell on our store or what we're already selling and what we would like to add to our product base. So as you go down here, there are new arrivals and as you continue down there are different categories that you can actually look through here of the new arrivals if you don't find anything there what you can do is you can search some products right over here so whatever it is that you would like to search you can just tap in over there search for a product and select it then we have shipped from anywhere or we can ship directly and only from the u.s and then we can choose a category right over here. So we can say automotive, bags and wallets, barware, bath and beauty, whatever the case may be. And then you can choose the supplier that you're getting it from. And there are quite a few options. And this is just to filter down our product search. 
You can also change the price range right over here. And once you've done that, you can then enter in a product and you can choose the product that you'd like. So I've just entered in bag. So now there's a bunch of bags. Obviously, you would like to get more specific when you're actually looking for products so that you can look for products that only you would like to sell. And let's say, for example, we are going to choose this one right over here. Now, once we tap on it and we jump into it, we can actually see a few details. So here is a description. You can view more of that description. And as you go down here, it gives you an average shipping time. And that is one to five days right over here. It is coming from the US and you're shipping to the United States in your Shopify store. So right over here, there are some other images of the actual product you can see. And then they give all the variants of the product, the product cost, and then the shipping cost and the total that you will actually be paying when you purchase this product. So what we can say here is, we can say add to import list right over there. And once we've done that, we can go over to the right hand, we can go over to the left hand side and we can actually tap on my products and you can see all of the products that you've actually put into your product list. And once we are now on this page, we can just tap on review and publish. So it'll give you a bunch of details right over here. So you can actually review the product. So it has the actual product itself, an overview. It also has a description. And right over here, you can actually edit this description. However, it's imported its description straight from Zendrop. So you can put it into your Shopify store. It also shows you all the variants so the colors you can also select and deselect the variants that you would like and then there are the images right over there which will also be imported to your shopify store we have again the shipping price the sales price and the profit now this is important you can edit this so this is what the product is going to cost you right over here and then this is what the shipping will be. And right over here is what you will sell your product for. And you can actually edit that right over there. And you can set a profit margin. And you can change that to whatever it is that you would like. And so forth. And then it gives you right over here your actual profit that you're making. And of course, you want to play around with the pricing so that you are pricing your products in the correct area so that your clients, your customers will actually want to buy the products. If they're too expensive, you won't actually make any sales. And if they're too cheap, then you won't actually make any profit. Once we're done with that, we can tap on the publish to my store right at the bottom over here. Now, once that is done, we are going to jump into the Shopify store. And right over here, you can see that your treat bag is here. It is active. It tells you how many there are in stock and how many variants there are. Your sales channels, your markets, and those are the markets that we have set up previously, and then where they're actually being sold from. And there you go. That is how you set up shipping on Shopify with Zendrop. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to leave us a like, and we'll catch you in the next one. Cheers for now.